Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to iOS Pro Hacker. So, have you forgot your iPhone basket? Or your iPhone is disabled? So in this video, I have created a full step-to-step -step guide to unlock your iPhone. So, let's get started to the tutorial. So before the tutorial, let me tell you that if your iPhone is stuck on disabled screen, so why it happens? Actually, it happens because of entering wrong passcodes to our iPhone. Whenever you try to unlock your iPhone and enter wrong passcodes to it five times, so your iPhone will gonna stuck on disabled screen for a limited time. So after that, you cannot enter more passcodes to your iPhone. So anyways, if you have forgot your iPhone passcodes, or you have an iPhone which is right now stuck on this disabled screen so this video is for you in this whole video I am gonna show you how you can fix your iPhone and one last thing I want to clear to you is that if you forgot your iPhone passcode or your iPhone is stuck on disabled screen so in this case you cannot get your iPhone's data back to your iDevice yes guys it is not possible to get your iPhone's data back to your iDevice. But there are only two alternative ways to get your data back to your iDevice. First is using iCloud backup and second is if you have created an iTunes backup in your computer so you can restore data later from the iTunes. So now let's get started to the tutorial and fix our iPhone. So you must have a computer to fix your iPhone because when an iPhone is disabled it is not possible to fix it without computer. So the first step is to download and install iTunes on your computer. Just visit iTunes.com to download iTunes in your computer. So install it in your computer. I have already installed it on my PC and you will also get the download link in the description of this video. Now the next step is to open iTunes and connect our iPhone to the computer to fix it. Make sure to use original lightning data cable and let me tell you that when our iPhone is on disabled screen, so the computer not detects the iPhone. So now what we're going to do next is to put our iPhone, iPad, iPod, whatever into the DFE mode in order to uh, detect our iPhone to the computer. So it is very simple to put our iPhone into the DFE mode and every iPhone has a different method method to put it into the DFE mode so for that just open YouTube and search for it that how to put iPhone X into the DFE mode like I have iPhone 7 so I'm gonna search how to put iPhone 7 into the DFE mode so you will find a lot of videos here so just follow any of the video to get your phone into the DFE mode it's not difficult it's just a trick of volume home and power buttons to put the phone into the DFE mode so right now I have an iPhone 7 so to put it into the DFE mode I have to press and hold the volume down and power button together and when the screen goes black release the power button and keep pressing the volume down button to put the iPhone 7 into the DFE mode let's just try again because it turns on again and I fail to get into the DFE mode. Your iPhone screen will remain black if you successfully put your iPhone into the DFE mode. And the computer will detect your uh, mobile phone. Just wait for it. So iTunes will detect it. As you can see. So in iTunes you will see the restore button. But if you press the restore button into the iTunes, so iTunes will gonna download a huge firmware file and iTunes is very slow to download it. So we are going to download the firmware file of an iPhone manually because for whatever reason, iTunes is very slow to download the file. Let's download it manually. Just open your browser and visit ipsw.me. You will find the link also in the description of this video. And now come into the identify my iOS device. So now select your device, which device you have. So right now I have an iPhone, so I'm gonna select it. And here we have to put our model number. So you will find the model number on the back of your iPhone. You can see this little number. So you have to put it. So after that, uh, after putting the model number, oh, let me just correct it. So after putting the model number, this website will gonna detect our iPhone. So just simply press the download button at the bottom and it will start download the file. And it is about three, four GB file. Uh, so it takes time. 
depends on your internet speed so i'm gonna cancel the download because i have already downloaded the file um, into my computer and after the download you will find the the file into the downloads folder so just simply copy uh, the file from there onto the desktop so like i did uh, here is the file you can see i've already copied it into the desktop okay right so next what we are going to do is to press the restore button into the itunes while keep pressing the shift key on our keyboard if you have a mac so you need to press and hold the option key and just press the restore button and now select the file we have downloaded you will find it into your downloads folder if you haven't copied it to the desktop i already copied it to the desktop so i'm gonna open this up from here and now just simply press the restore button but before that let me just tell you one more thing that if you don't want to use itunes so you can also use 3 u tools to uh, restore your iphone how you can use it it is very simple uh, just come into the flash and jb and you will gonna import the you will see the import button here uh, now just select the downloaded file and press the flash button to start the restoring process but i'm gonna use itunes i'm not gonna use three u tools because itunes works fine for me so let's get back to the itunes and select the file again to start restoring process uh, just like that and you can also use three u tools if you don't want to use itunes or itunes is giving any kind of errors so you can always use three u tools it works fine it's totally free so now we are done and itunes has started to restore our iphone it will take about 7 to 10 minutes to complete the restore process and i am skipping the video and fast forwarding the video to make the video short if itunes is giving any kind of error so please make sure to update your iphone to the sorry itunes to the latest version and make sure to use original data lightning cable to get it work don't use cheap chinese cables uh, otherwise it may stick on white apple logo so after that you will uh, have to start all over again and restore your iphone again so guys if you see this pop-up message on itunes it means that your iphone has successfully restored now you can also disconnect your iphone from the computer but i do not recommend you to disconnect your iphone because sometimes our iphone battery is low so the iphone will gonna shut down and will stuck on the apple logo anyways now we have to wait until it completes and again let me clear to you that it is not possible to get your iphone's data back to your i device if it is stuck on disabled screen and the way you can get the data is only by restoring iphone from icloud backup or if you have created itunes backup on your computer unfortunately so i'm going to skip the video now because i don't want to make a long video so after it completes you see the hello screen so now you have to set up your iphone select language country wi-fi and all that and if if the find my iphone was enabled on this iphone on your iphone so it may ask you for your apple id and password to unlock your iphone and make sure don't be too fast because in the next step our iphone will ask us about apps and data so now uh, here you can choose an option from where you want to restore your iphone's data so you can restore from icloud or itunes backup and i have created an icloud backup so i'm going to choose the first option so after that it will ask us for our apple id and uh, my iphone will gonna download all the files from the icloud backup such as photos videos contacts call logs messages and all the data of the applications like whatsapp and all the other applications so it may take few minutes to complete because it is downloading all the files from the icloud backup so it depends on your internet speed so then uh, the iphone has downloaded all the files from the backup of icloud and now it will gonna restart 
and restore all the files into my iPhone. It may take time. And you can see my data is back. It's my old wallpaper. And you can see all the applications are downloading automatically. And in the photos, uh, yes, it will gonna update. It may take time because it is downloading photos from iCloud backup right now. So just stay connected on internet and all the applications, contacts, call logs, everything will be on your phone. So thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe the YouTube channel and press the like button. Peace out.